What's going on everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. Today I want to talk about the phrase kings and queens, right? Because we black people, we like to throw around that word. We were kings, we were queens, right? And then we got some people like Umar Johnson, right? The prince of Pan-Africanism. He likes to call all black women queens, you know? Which I understand, you know, is is it's a way to build confidence in black women who have historically been told they ain't shit, right? So the idea of calling them queens is to make them feel good about themselves, to remind them that, you know, in days past, African people, we come from kingdoms where there were queens, right? Where there are women, black women of, of high value, of high status, of importance, right? Just like there were kings, right? We, had, we come from kingdoms with kings that had high status, very important influential individuals right so that you can picture yourself being someone of note not needing to be pacified by the the white western culture that you as a black person have your own you have your own thing that you can attach yourself to right that has value i understand all that but here's the problem we use it so loosely and all these pseudo kings and queens don't realize that they're not kings and queens they're just fools pretending to be kings and queens because here's the thing first of all for my for in my real kings know the real kings are out there right real black kings are out there first of all in order to be a king <laughs> you got to have a kingdom right you got to be building a foundation for your people right doesn't matter how big it is but if you're not building something you ain't, you're not a king if you're not producing and making something, if you're not creating a safe environment for the people that you're responsible for, or the people that's around you, you're not a king, right? If you don't have respect for women, and if you're not out seeking a queen that's gonna be right there, your better half, that's gonna be able to give you good counsel and give you love and, and compassion, and when days are tough and it was hard out there, when you come back and she can console you and use that feminine energy, you know, to make you feel better, to, to soothe that masculine energy. If you're not looking for that, then you're not a king. You're just a fool trying to stick your, your dipstick in every little thing walking. That's what it is. And a lot of you queens, you know, there's real queens out there. But a lot of you females, y'all not, y'all not queens. Y'all not queens, you gotta stop calling yourself that because you ain't earned it, right? A real queen understands her position. A real queen understands she can't even be a queen without a king or without men to put her in that position or men to reinforce her authority because there's no such thing as a queen that has power without a male backing her up without a male being the authority so that if somebody don't listen to her guess who coming out right behind her the king who will reinforce the queen's authority that's how it rolls so all these females trying to be bosses all you are is being an individual that wants to be by themselves right just because you got a good job you make money don't make you a queen a queen knows how to handle their masculine men. A queen knows how to respect and breathe life into men. A queen knows how to discipline their sons and knows how to allow the male figure, the authoritarian figure, to discipline and structure their sons and not protect and baby their sons. Because that's a lot, big problem we have nowadays is our black women, they baby the shit out of their sons. They don't allow their sons to go through anything. And everything they badass little sons do because they act like females, because they raised by females who think they can be men, but they can't be men. They can only be women. So they raising all these feminine, soft men, boys, who don't know how to be men because they don't have no men. Because these females make bad choices. Picking Pookie and Ray Ray. And then wonder why Pookie and Ray Ray act like Pookie and Ray Ray. And then wonder why their son end up being a Pookie and Ray Ray. It's because of the woman making bad choices. She don't know what a good man looks like. She don't know what a king looks like. So your queen knows what a king looks like. A queen knows what a potential king looks like. A queen knows what a man looks like who's on his way to becoming a king. A queen knows how to build a king. How to support a king how to stand next to and beside a king. She also knows how to let a king be a king because if the king's a king, then he's a king. And if you're a queen, you're a queen and you're a queen. So you do what the queens do. You let that king be the king because he's the king, you understand? And some of you men out there, y'all don't want to be kings. Y'all sitting up here living in your girlfriend's house, living in your girlfriend's apartment, milking on females. That's not king activity. That's fool activity. And a lot of us got fool activity. It's not really all our faults. I mean, our family structure has been destroyed. 
because Europeans did it on purpose. They saw what we had in Africa. They saw how family structure and how we operated when we had the basis foundation of African culture is the family. They destroyed the family. So what we need to do now that we know, this is the age of information. So all this stuff about we don't know and, and they did this today, they miseducated us. Okay, well, they did that. Now it's our responsibility to re-educate ourselves now that we have the power to do it. So that means women need to start acting like women. Stop being skank ho nasty hot girl summers and thinking somebody gonna give you respect. Nobody respects a hoe. A hoe is just a hoe. A hoe is a hoe. You walk outside advertising yourself or being nothing but a walking hole. If the first thing I see is your ass, if that's the only thing I'm supposed to find you by, is how fat and round your ass is, then guess what? That's the only thing I'm gonna see in you. Don't call yourself a queen. You're a plaything. Same with you dudes. You dudes walk around here and all you want to do is fight, fight and all you want to do is cry and bitch and moan about these females, this and that. You just a soft, weak sucker. You're not a king. A real king got a mission. You understand? Look, we don't got time to be stip what running out here just spending your whole life trying to find holes to stick your, your eggplant in. A real man, a real king is on a mission in life. A mission in life, whether he has, whether there's a career path, whether there's something he's really passionate about, a real king is on mission. That's what a king's doing. And a queen recognizes a man that's on mission. And a queen, if she's compatible with him, she would join him on that mission. You understand? She would join him on that mission and she won't try to change his mission because a real king is going to be on mission. And if a woman don't fit that, then guess what? She can keep it moving. So all these women that, that, that hate black men, all these women that don't want to act right, all these women that want you to have a trillion dollars before they take you out on a date, all these women that won't get out the car because the cheesecake factory ain't good enough for them, guess what? You leave they motherfucking ass right there on the side of the road and don't look back. And you don't even, you don't even have to complain about it. What, what would you complain for if you a real king? You don't complain about that shit. You leave that motherfucker on the side of the road. Because guess what? All those females that spend all their time complaining because they make bad choices and because they make bad choices, they pick the absolute worst piece of shit fool dude to lay down and have a baby with. But yet, everyone they lay down and have a baby with, that dude was never good enough to marry, but he's good enough to create a life with. How the fuck does that even sound? What? That's how messed up we are. Our women believe they can lay down and have a baby. The guy's good enough to lay down and have a whole life with, but he ain't good enough to marry up, ma uh, to marry and, and, and be a partner in life. Does that make any type of sense? And you wonder why shit's backwards. If a man ain't good enough to be your husband, he shouldn't even be good enough for him to stick his dipstick in your hole in the first goddamn place. Women need to start creating new values for themselves like our grandma used to do. Men need to start vetting the goddamn their daughter's, their daughter's uh, boyfriend. See, a real king gonna be in the house and when their daughter go out, guess what? He gonna, she gonna, he gonna know whose daughter's going out with. See, if you're a real king in your house, your daughter's gonna have an example of what a real man looks like. So that way, when she can see or recognize a real man when she step outside. But the problem is our women, they don't know what a man look like because they ain't got a man in the house because their mama has bad choices and picked, picked a piece of shit to be the daddy. So now the, the daughter don't know what a good man is, don't know what a king is, don't know. So she go out here and get somebody just like her piece of shit ass daddy. Right? And then she go in the same cycle. And all up all of them end up on, on social security and disability, getting food stamps and wick. Why? Because they make bad choices. This is the age of information. We ain't got no excuses for these badass choices we making. So we need to stop call, calling these black women queens if they ain't earned it. And you need to stop calling these black dudes kings if they ain't earned it. If you ain't earn it, you ain't earn it. You can be a fool, you can be a court jester, you can be everything else, but you ain't no king or queen unless you earn it. Because a king has responsibilities. A king knows that life is hard. A king knows he gotta go out there and struggle every goddamn day to create an environment so that his, she, her, the, so that his queen, right? So that his, his queen can thrive. A king is gonna go out there and sacrifice himself, sacrifice himself so that his daughters and his sons are fine and okay and thriving a king is going to make sure that his daughter knows what a real man look like a king is going to be in his daughter's life no matter what the hell she say to make sure no piece of shit pookie and ray ray takes advantage of her and f all that new age crap that 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 woman talking about because the queen gonna keep her mouth shut and let the daddy do what the daddy do that's what the queen gonna do the queen gonna back up the king 
unapologetically. And if they got issues, they're going to do that shit in the back when nobody's, when nobody's paying attention. She's not going to undermine him. See, a lot of these black women, the government will, will assist you so much that you guys got a little ahead of yourselves, right? And y'all be flexing. It's all false flexing. Let the government take away uh, uh, your food stamps, your wick. Let the government take away all the assistance. Let the government take away all of the extra shit they get to make you, to empower you, to treat your your husband like shit, to treat your boyfriend like shit, to treat your baby mama like shit. Let them take all that shit away and let me see how big and bad you are now. When it's really just you. When it's you and them. And the only thing you're gonna get is the result of the choices that you make. But laying down with Pookie and Ray Ray because he got dreadlocks, he got a big old eggplant, and that's the thing that you value over getting somebody that's gonna take care of you. Now you gotta go out here and work 80 hours a week like everybody else struggling, wishing you was on vacation because you made a bad choice, huh? That, that's what that is. So we can't be calling all these black women queens. I love all my black women, the good ones and the bad ones, but they're not all queens. There's only some that's queens that's elevated to that level. Because if everybody's a queen, what the hell does it mean? What is a queen? Queen ain't shit. If everybody can be a queen, no, you gotta earn it. And every black man ain't no goddamn king, definitely because they ain't earned shit. They don't even know how to be a man. Some of these black men don't even know how to be men. The men don't know how to be men, and the women don't know what a man is. So we got everybody walking around with female energy fighting and bickering and shit. Have you ever seen a lesbian relationship with uh, two women? They always fighting and bickering because they both females no matter what. They both bigger all the time. Because no matter how much the bull dagger or the, or the dom wants to pretend and overcorrect and act like a, a man, she's still a goddamn woman. She's still got estrogen running through her body. I don't care how many damn shots she take. Nature dictates, period. So all I'm saying is we got to stop using these king and queen shit loosely and all that stuff and just giving blanket, um, blanket accolades to everybody who ain't deserved the shit. If you're a king, you understand being a king is hard. It ain't all pleasure. It's nothing but difficulty because your job is to create the environment to take care of your queen and your little princess and your prince. That's your job. Your job is to keep your realm working. Huh? Your job is to make the tough decisions, to stress out. That's why we die early, because we stressing out. That's what kings do, and we know that. It's a sacrifice, and you gotta be willing to put in that work and sacrifice, or you can't call yourself no goddamn king. Same with females. If you don't know how to respect your black man, you got no, you got no right to call yourself a queen, because there ain't never been no black queen that wasn't backed up by a king or backed up by men that said that she can be the queen, period. Anyway, that's all I gotta say. This Afro Think Tank, learn some, teach some, I'm out.